Hey what's up guys Empathy Tech here we are back again with another exciting video for you guys and in this video we talk about next gen AMD GPUs it's no secret that AMD has been working on graphic cards constantly to compete with Nvidia's graphic cards now that the internet is filled with Nvidia's next gen ampere based graphic cards there have also been speculation about AMD's big navi graphic card AMD is doing pretty good on the CPU side of the market since they introduced the Ryzen lineup of CPUs. On the graphics side, they have launched few compelling graphic cards but not enough for each price segment. But this year, things appeared different. We all know that what kind of graphical power the Xbox Series X and the PS5 has in its disposal which are also based on RDNA2 architecture. Enough about the past, let's talk about the new upcoming stuff. The upcoming AMD's graphic cards the 6000 series or the big navi or whatever it is going to be called will be based on the RDNA2 architecture. Before we go any deep, let me clear one thing. All these next gen GPUs will support real time ray tracing. So now let's talk about the specifications. The headline grabbing features of these GPUs is that these will support ray tracing as discussed earlier and will also be able to play games at 4K resolution. AMD CEO Lisa Su back at CES confirmed that I've said that in the past that ray tracing is important and I still believe that. But if you look at where we are today, it is still very early. You should expect that our discrete graphics as we go through 2020 will also have ray tracing. As Nvidia has its hardware ray tracing paired with a deep learning engine to improve both performance and quality, we expect AMD to have something similar to that. And guys, we want you to take this with a pinch of salt. The higher end GPUs might come with 80 compute units near 5000 RDNA cores and up to 12 GB of VRAM. As Apple products have AMD graphics, they'll also be getting new upgraded GPUs. So hold on if you're thinking of buying Apple MacBook. The next thing we will talk about is pricing. Pricing is going to be a big part for the success of these cards. Especially as Nvidia is also set to launch its graphic cards in the same time frame as AMD. But if you look at AMD, they haven't said anything about the pricing of these cards but we expect these new cards to be cheaper than NVIDIA cards. The NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti costs around $1200, but we expect that RDNA2 cards will likely be less than 1000 bucks. Now let's talk about the launch dates. In the end of April 2020, Lisa Zhu reconfirmed that they are still on track to deliver RDNA2 in the late 2020. She said that development of our RDNA2 GPUs continues to progress well. We are on track to launch our next generation gaming GPUs later this year with a 50% performance per watt increase compared to our current offerings. And rumors suggest that they'll be launching these GPUs in September before the launch of the consoles. In the same time frame, Nvidia is also set to launch its Ampere based GPUs. We expect to see some head to head launches. One thing is for sure that the last 4 months of 2020 are going to be absolutely amazing for the gamers out there. We have got AMD launching its 4000 series CPUs, its next gen graphic cards and we have got Nvidia launching its Ampere based graphic cards and the consoles. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for giving an amazing response on our earlier video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media. Our Instagram and Twitter links are present in the description box. Till then take care and goodbye.